We're gonna ignore this guy for the duration of the video, okay? Because um, my skin has been in a really good place lately, but this baby just popped up the last couple of days and um, it's hanging on, so sorry about that. I first heard of Moira Beauty months ago, probably like six or seven months ago at this point from Lauren May Beauty. She was talking about one of their single eyeshadows and it looked absolutely stunning on her. So I went to their website and boy, did I get overwhelmed. <laughs> they have thousands of products on their website. They have pretty much any makeup category you can think of. And in each category, they have multiple different products. Like the eyeshadow palette I ended up choosing, that palette itself had like eight or nine different color stories. And then there was probably like five or six other types of palettes in their respective eight or nine color stories. Their blush, they have like liquid blush, cream blush, stick blush, ombre powder blushes, plain powder brushes, blushes. Like they just have so many products on their website. So I put some things in my cart, got pretty overwhelmed, let the tab stay open on my computer for a couple weeks, um, and they clicked out of it. And thought to myself, okay, Emily, you're just not going to try Moira Beauty right now, that's fine. Fast forward to Kelly Gooch putting up on her community tab, a question about everyone's favorite brand from 2023. And so many people commented Moira Beauty, like so many. So I was like, all right, Emily, you gotta trudge through the website and find some things and try it out for yourself. So uh, that's exactly what I did. I got pretty much a full face. Yeah, I think I got almost every single solitary category, maybe not brows. I bought this a while ago, so I don't fully remember, but I'm pretty sure I got like a full face of makeup to try out for you guys today. If you are new to my channel, hello, I'm Emily. Thank you for clicking on this video and checking out my channel. Um, I'm a stay at home mom to a almost one year old little girl. I can say that for another week. I'm filming this like a week before her first birthday. It's kind of breaking my heart a little bit, but that's okay. She's getting so fun. Like this age is just getting fun. So I'm excited for her to grow up, but it's just making me a teensy bit sad. You know what I mean? So uh, because of that, I don't have a ton of time to sit down and play with makeup like I used to. So when I do, when I am able to film um, like once or twice a month that I'm able to, I get so excited and I just talk and talk and talk. So if this is a long video, I'm sorry by that. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, I hope you like what you see and you subscribe. If you like the video, like the video, please. Um, and comment down below if you have tried Moira Beauty or if this video puts it on your radar and you want to try it. So well, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna start off with is the Glow Getter Hydrating Lip Oil. I got this in the shade Bubble Pink. I figured I would just put this on while I do my makeup. So that is what the packaging looks like. It's just a really pretty, light pink shade. I'm assuming it's going to be clear. Oh, it does have a tiny bit of a pink tint. Hmm. Oh, it's very thick. Very thick. I don't hate that. But if you don't like a thick lip gloss or lip oil, I would probably skip this. Oh, it can get a little stringy, but I don't know. I think I like it. Yeah, it's definitely getting stringy. Maybe I put too much on. I don't want to see how hydrating this is while I am applying my makeup. This retailed for $5.25, by the way. That was the good thing about this brand that I enjoyed. I understand that affordability is subjective to each individual person and their you know, situation, but for myself, I thought that these prices were pretty good. I'm gonna try to remember to tell you what everything cost as I'm going through them. But I will go ahead and tell you that my total before tax was $113.25 for pretty much a full face, like I was saying. With tax, it ended up being $120.91 and I didn't have to pay for shipping because I bought so much. Um, I feel like, like I said, those prices are pretty good. If you went to the drugstore, you would definitely be paying close to that, if not more. And then if you went mid tier to high end, you would be paying double, maybe triple that. So. I was happy about the prices. I skipped out on their eye primer, but they do have one if you are interested. So I went ahead and just applied the Rare Beauty eye primer. It took me a while to pick a eyeshadow palette because there was just so many to choose from, like I said in the beginning of the video. I went ahead and chose the Celestial Love palette. This is part of their Celestial series, I guess. So this is what the box looks like. Very nice packaging. And actually, even when you open up the box, it's got like these little angel wing kind of things. So the packaging is very nice. And then the palette pretty much mirrors the packaging with the front and the back. I don't like how thick and bulky it is. I will say that I do wish it was a little thinner and a little bit more streamlined, but 
you know, just little things as I'm going along. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, this retailed for $12.25 and I went ahead and got, I'm sorry, I think the color story is Celestial Love and then the series, like the type of palettes it is, is the Celestial series. But it's just this really pretty pinky tone palette. I feel like I didn't have too many palettes similar in my collection to this so I was excited to try that out. So I think the embossings in the palette are actually really cute. I don't know if you can super tell on camera but there's like stars and little suns and little like clouds and stuff i think that's cute with the whole like celestial theme of it all and then i did go ahead and swatch the palette for you guys it swatched really nicely a couple of the mattes i did have to go over a few times just to make them show up a little bit better but uh that's not something that i really care about especially in a swatch it's really just more important what it looks like on the eyes for me but this color story is really, really pretty. It's got like those pink tones, like I said, a couple warmer tones. I've been into more warm tones lately anyway, so I'm excited about that. It's got some really bright shimmers that look pretty. This um, angelic shade right here in the middle is like a topper. I did also pick up a single shadow from them. This is their Lucent Cream Shadow in the shade Infinity. Um, if it looks like it's already swatched, that's because it is. I just started talking and swatched it and filming and didn't realize that I didn't press record on my phone. So here we are. But I wasn't planning on using this today, but after I swatched it just now, and like you guys will see, it is stunning. Like, look at that so beautiful it's got like an olivey undertone and then just bam like a silvery sort of reflect it is sparkly so if you don't like that i would maybe stay away but the consistency reminds me of a ColourPop super shock shadow and it is just super reflective and it kind of matches my shirt perfectly not that it really matters i'm not doing anything the rest of the day um ivy's currently napping and then we are probably going to go on a family walk and then we're going to hang out at home it's a saturday night we actually had a day night last night which was really really fun but we're just gonna hang out at home and watch some basketball tonight so my point is i don't really need to like look cute and like match it with my shirt or anything but that is beautiful i actually do think i'm gonna skip out on this just because i want to go full-on pink themed but i am excited to try this out and i'll keep you guys updated on it for the eyes we're gonna start off with this demure shade here but i think it's gonna be a little light so then we're going to move into this one right here called sweet dreams on a refer 15 we're going to take that demure shade yeah, it's not really showing up on my eyes. That's okay. I think it was more supposed to be like a setter shade maybe or like a highlight if you have a deeper skin tone. So we are going to move into that Sweet Dreams and just do the same thing. Put it into the crease. Ooh, that's a really nice just soft pinky shade. It's not super intense, but it seems like hopefully a shade that I can build. Yeah, it seems like it's building a little bit, which is nice. Now, I'm not going to be able to try out a ton of shades for you guys. I've been going pretty minimal with my eyeshadow looks lately like last night for our date night i just did one shadow in the um, crease and one shimmer on the lids so i'll try to use a couple more today but next i think we're going to go into this brown down here called mine on a what's up beauty r102 brush and we're just going to put that into Ooh, that's a really pretty shade the outer corner and up into the crease that's like a nice just warm caramelly caramel however you choose to pronounce it brown shade i like that these are really soft on the eyes like they kind of pack pigment when you first apply them but then as you buff them in they get softer which i like that then you have a better chance of not like going overboard you can always add more eyeshadow you, it's hard to take away i've learned that plenty of times the hard way in the past <laughs> but yeah that's a really pretty brown shade next i think we're just gonna do a little tiny bit of this soulmate shade right here it's like a dark brown burgundy almost same brush i'm just going to add a little bit and then i'm gonna wipe my brush off and then buff that's pretty it's getting slightly patchy out here but every eyeshadow gets patchy on me and like right here in the crease if you can see that every eyeshadow gets patchy on me i'm not really concerned if you are someone who watches <laughs> my videos regularly you're probably so sick of me saying that but i always want to let someone know who's possibly new watching my channel i don't want them to be like okay the eyeshadow is getting patchy why is she not addressing that like i can see it patching on her eye you know what i mean um that's because everything does on me I, it's literally my eye skin <laughs> that looks really good i'm gonna go back into that sweet dream shade and just buff 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 and then the shimmer oh there's a lot of really really pretty ones like this bella shade looks pretty right here um this one right here called amore and then also that angelic 
like all of those look pretty but i think i'm gonna go with the angelic shade can you tell on camera i don't think you can just how like sparkly and intense that is i don't think it's showing up on camera at all maybe on my lids it will i'm gonna go ahead and use the nyx glitter primer they also had glitter primer if you are interested but i've just been ride or die with the nyx for years at this point and they have like a brand new tube of it so i wasn't gonna buy like another glitter glue you know i don't go through it fast enough so we're gonna take that really pretty angelic shade that is not showing up how just dimensional it is on my finger there at all <laughs> Ooh, that is pretty though. I really don't think it's showing on camera how beautiful it is. In person, I'm seeing all sorts of different colors of sparkles like purple, orange, silver, pink. On camera, I feel like it's just looking like a plain <laughs> shimmer. This would be a really pretty shade to just top over any of the other shimmers as well. Maybe I should have done that to try out another shimmer for you guys. So sorry. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep the eyes there for now. I will finish them up in a little bit, but that is looking really really pretty. I was super impressed with all of the shades that I tried out. I know I only tried out like four, um, so I'm sorry about that, but so far I'm impressed. So let's move on to the face. For primer, I was stuck between their hydrating primer and then the one that I chose, but I went ahead and went with the Veil Touch Soft Primer because I'm hoping this will be a little bit of a dupe for my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I don't think it will compare just because I'm so in love with this one, but I've been using this for years. As you can tell, I have like the jumbo tube of it and it's like, I'm using it up. But I thought that this would maybe be a little bit of a dupe for it. So it says the Moira Veil Touch Soft Primer is a multi-purpose primer that goes beyond traditional formulations, concealing redness to even out skin tone while minimizing the look of visible pores fine lines and imperfections. It's airy, silk, cloud-like texture, layers on the skin without the added weight or greasy after feel. Formulated with hops oil and goji berry extract helps protect the moisture loss and nourishes the skin, appropriate for all skin types. Okay, as I was applying that, I kind of got the vibes of the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, but I also got the vibes of the Smashbox the Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. It had more of the consistency, like, afterwards to this like how my face feels after i apply this one but the white factor like how it was white and the consistency of it why well, i say consistency so maybe that's not true but just how it felt rubbing in felt like this or i'm sorry it felt like the hourglass one and then afterwards feels like this it's very hard to explain i'm just trying to like liken it to products that you have maybe tried so you know what you would possibly get into if you were purchasing this product it has more of like a powdery finish i wouldn't say it feels super hydrating per se i don't i also don't think it evened out and perfected my skin tone like it said it was going to i still have lots of redness going on as far as pores i do think it filled in my pores a little bit it is a little bit smoothing right here in my like large pore area so i do like that it also doesn't feel like super drying and it's like sunk into the skin it doesn't feel oily or greasy but um yeah Okay, I like that, I think, so far. I don't know if it will be the dupe for the hourglass that I was maybe hoping it would be, but aside from that, I think that I just will like this as a primer on its own. And this retailed for $9.60. I had a really hard time picking a foundation. They have like three or four different foundations. And the one that I chose, like they have two foundations that are very, very similar to each other. I think one is older and one is newer. I don't know if it's a reformulation or what was going on with that, but I ended up choosing the Complete Wear Soft Matte Foundation. This is supposed to be lightweight, pore blurring, and reduces shine. I had a really hard time choosing a foundation color in this. I went with 100N, and I think that it's going to be a little light on me. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a little light on me. We'll obviously see as I apply it, and I'm a little worried that it says Soft Matte, but the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation is one of my favorite mixing foundations. So maybe this will be a good mixer. I'm gonna try it on its own today, obviously for you. We'll see how that goes, but I have high hopes that if maybe I don't like it on its own, I'll like it as a mixer. So this says, the Moira Complete Wear Soft Matte Foundation is a lightweight vegan formula that provides a biddable to medium to full coverage for a flawless and natural makeup finish. Developed with an advanced and innovative microporous powder that controls shine, oil, and sebum, while niacinamide and peptide complex help blur pores and create an even skin tone. It says it has up to a 12 hour water resistant soft matte finish. It's dermatologist tested, fragrance free, 100% vegan, 12 month shelf life. And this retailed for $16. Okay, here it is with one layer on my skin. Obviously, terrible shade match, terrible, terrible shade match. 
I had the hardest time finding a shade match though. I even Googled like images of swatches and I could not figure out what shade to get. And online, this looked like it would be a good match. I think this is the lightest one. I feel like I should just know by now that I'm not the lightest foundation anymore. I used to, I feel like I used to be. I don't know if I'm getting tanner or what, but the shade match is atrocious. Like I look like Casper the Ghost right now. Um, also, if you saw in the me trying to apply it, I tried to spread it out on my hands. That's how I've been applying my foundation lately. I spread it out all over my face and then blend it in with my sponge. And I could just tell it was drying very quickly. So that's why I went ahead and blended it in like I did, like sections at a time. Um, this looks so bad on my skin. I know that it being lighter is throwing me off. So just keep that in mind. Anytime something's too light on me, I don't like how it looks. But also it just is so drying. Oh my goodness. So it like, I don't know if you can tell here, it's completely breaking up and is really patchy. And then here in my pore area, it is just going into every single solitary pore, even with that pore filling primer I put on. Super dry on my forehead. I'm having like lots and lots of flaking there. Lots of flaking on my nose. It looks bad. Okay, looks bad. I'm gonna try to build this up. I don't think I'm going to, and it didn't cover up the zit like at all. I don't think that this is a really that good of idea, um, but we're gonna try to just build it up and see what happens. It had kind of ish decent coverage. I don't know. Cause I don't really see like a ton of my like acne scars and stuff peeking through, but okay. That's like getting worse here. Wow. Okay. Whew. I mean, I got, I did on one side. So I do it on the other. And I do think a lot of this is the shade match being too light on me, but this is just maybe I'm just not a matte foundation girly anymore. Part of me wants to take this off, but I'm not going to. Um, cause I'm just like afraid that everything else I put on top of it, I'm gonna dislike, you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to think, is this gonna hinder me from liking the foundation and blushes and stuff that I bought? Cause I dislike this foundation so much. I mean, it just looks really, really terrible on me. Like that made it even more dry. Let's try the concealer and then we can decide if I'm gonna take this off or not. So this is their Lavish Creamy Concealer. I picked it up in the shade 025 Soy Milk. This looks darker. Yeah, this looks darker. So this is gonna really look weird. My under eyes are gonna look darker so it doesn't really give me a ton of information on the box except for medium to full coverage long lasting lightweight 100 vegan this retailed for six dollars so it has a really tiny applicator i'm gonna go ahead and yeah that looks like way darker i'm so confused i'm gonna put some here to try to help that out as well as under my eyes i don't really love how small this applicator is but yeah, we're just gonna kind of put this everywhere and hope that it can save my complexion base. This is a much better shade match for me, which I'm happy about. I can see like me actually using this shade match on a regular basis. <clears throat> Excuse me, that foundation I will probably never try again. Which is definitely a user error for me buying too light of a shade, but oh, this is not full coverage. I mean, it says medium to full, but I don't know. That's still showing a lot of my blue. Okay. I think I'm going to keep this on and power through it because here's the thing. My daughter is taking a nap and I'm trying to film this while she's napping. And if I go wash my face off, reapply my skincare, come back, apply foundation and concealer that I like, and then move on with the products, she's going to be awake. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to have time to finish the rest of this video. And like Mike could watch her, you know what I mean? Like it's not it's not anything about that. It's just, I'm trying to get this done on her nap. I like to spend time with her while she's awake. <laughs> um, but so because of that, I'm not going to wash this off and start over as much as I really want to because that foundation is horrendous on me, like truly horrendous. I'm gonna apply a little bit more concealer here and blend it out. Cause that, I mean, I don't hate this concealer. It just didn't have a ton of coverage in my opinion. And um, it is it is looking a little drying on my under eyes. It does seem to be building up though. That second layer is helping, so that's good. Okay, the concealer is not terrible. I would retry the concealer with the foundation that I like. This foundation, I don't think I will ever try again, um, mainly because of the shade match, but also it just looks really, really, really bad on my skin, like really bad and dry, and it feels dry. It's like sucking the life out of my skin. So we're gonna move on, but this is a no, and this is a no, but less of a no. <laughs> Little update on the lip oil. It's pretty much gone at this point. I've been filming for maybe 20, 30 minutes. So it's not really a long lasting lip oil. A lot of lip oils don't last long. 
anyway, so it's not the end of the world. You can still see it shining a little bit, but it pretty much feels like it's gone. Next up, we have the Moira Stay Golden Cream Bronzer. This is for face and body. I picked up the shade Light. I wish they would have had a fair shade. I do, but they didn't. So I picked up Light, which is the lightest one. Especially with this light foundation color, I don't know if I'm going to love this tone on me. It looks like it's going to get a little warm. This retailed for $12 and it says on the back, the Moira Stay Golden Cream Bronzer is a lightweight cream formula perfect for achieving a face and body sun-kissed look. This non-sticky and long-lasting formula will easily blend while delivering a soft focus matte finish look. Infused with natural ingredients such as mango and rosehip oil that will keep your skin soft and hydrated for a fresh and healthy glow. Okay, so a little goes a long way. I definitely over applied this. <laughs> And the tone looks crazy on me right now because that like foundation is so light, but it is definitely a really warm tone. Like it's looking a little orange on me, I'm not gonna lie, which is not my favorite. I'm not trying to look like a flaming Hot Cheeto, you know what I mean? I guess that would be red, a normal Cheeto. <laughs> but also that description was very, hypocritical is not the word that I wanna use right now, but I can't think of the word I wanna use where it said it's a matte finish, but then it's gonna give your skin a natural, radiant, healthy glow. That doesn't make sense to me. Like matte usually doesn't give you a glow. And this is, I guess there's like a tiny bit of a glow. I, I don't know. I see this is, the, this is the conundrum that I was having earlier where I thought that I wouldn't like these products if I put them on this base. You know, I'm trying to think if I tried this cream bronzer out on a little bit more of my skin tone sort of foundation, if it would look this orange on me. I still think that it would have an orangey hue to it, orangey SQ, but I, I think I would maybe like it better. I think I also need to use a little bit less. Maybe I just used a little bit too much. I'm applying it with my e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator Brush. It's what I always use for cream bronzers, so... Yeah, not um, not the worst cream bronzer I've ever used. Not my, not a favorite though. But it like blended in fine. Like it doesn't look muddy or anything. Just a little bit too orange, which is kind of my skin tone sort of thing. That's why I was hoping that they had a fair shade, and they didn't. So I did not order a um powder bronzer though. I just ordered the cream. So that's what we're working with today. I did go ahead and get a liquid blush and then also a powder blush. So we'll try that after. This is their Love Steady Liquid Blush. This has a radiant finish and I picked up the shade 01 Forever Mine. This is $8.50. So it's just like a liquid blush comes in one of those lipsticky sort of applicators. Ooh, okay. It's a pretty shade. This says it's supposed to have a dewy finish, weightless, 100% vegan, and a natural flush look. So let's grab my other putty primer applicator brush <laughs> and we will dab a little bit on here, a little bit on the side so I don't get too much. And we're just gonna go in. I thought that this blush shade would go really well with the eyeshadow palette I ordered. I tried to coincide it all, like the blushes, the lips, all of that. So I didn't have a crazy look to where nothing matched. Ooh, okay, it's pretty. Oh, I really like that tone. It's a really pretty shade. Does it have a dewy finish? Yeah, I guess it does. A little bit of a dew going on there. The blush and bronzer mixing together on my cheek does not look cute right here, but we're gonna go with it. I do need to get a little bit more out for my second cheek, but it's blending in nicely. It's not like too overwhelming on your cheek at first, like too pigmented. Oh, that is pretty. I probably should have put less on because I have a powder blush to put on top as well. Whoopsie daisy, that's okay. Okay, so far I'm really liking that. I think that's a really beautiful shade. I do like the little tiny bit of sheen and glow. It gives, that might get covered up when I powder in a, here in a second, but not that I need a powder, I'm looking real dry, but I bought a powder, so we're gonna try it out. But yeah, I like that. It is like, I, I don't know, it is like right here going into my pores a little bit, but again, I think that's just my base being so bad. I know I keep saying that, but I just wanna keep reiterating how uh, terrible that base looks. <laughs> so far, I'm really liking that blush a lot. Before we try the powder blush, I am going to go ahead and set some of my face with the Loose Setting Powder. I picked up the shade 01 Translucent. This is $7.60. Just comes with a normal screw top packaging and then this in the middle. It doesn't come with a puff or anything, but that's fine. Let me get my tweezers. I painted my nails for like the first time in it forever. If you're curious what I'm using, I grabbed it. Where'd it go? 
It's from What's Up Beauty. It's their gem encrusted nail polish in the shade Earth Like. It is such a pretty like glowy, super sparkly sort of um, opposite eyeshadow nail polish. It looks really pretty on my nails and it has not chipped. I put this on Thursday night and it's Saturday afternoon and it hasn't chipped. And that is shocking to me, shocking. It always chips, always. So if you are curious about my nail polish, that's what it is. So because of that, I'm going to take this off with my tweezers. I am not about to chip these dang nails. This says the Moira Loose Setting Powder is a weightless powder that delivers a silky smooth matte finish. Infused with collagen and vitamin E, this hydrating finishing powder blurs the look of pores, fine lines, and softens your complexion. This unique formula designed to absorb oil and hold your makeup in place all day long without flashback. It's a powder, you know what I mean? I feel like it's really hard for me to fall in love with the Loose Setting Powder. I have my couple of really good go-tos that I've been using for years that I love, love, love. Um, so, I mean, it's looking a little dry on my skin, my skin was already dry before this though. It does, I get, it does for sure have like a matte powder or matte finish to it. Did it say it was blurring? Yeah, it blurs the look of pores and fine lines. Mm, no, my pores are definitely not blurred here where they stand out the most. So yeah, I don't know. It's just a powder to me, nothing special. <laughs> Okay, I was looking at the rest of the products I have to try. I didn't have brow products. I knew I didn't buy any brow products. So I went ahead and used my NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel in my brows. And then I didn't buy a mascara, which I think I like purposely didn't do that because I just am so stuck on Tarte Man Eater and I have never tried a mascara that I like more than this one. So I was like, why? bother kind of thing so I put on Tarte Man Eater and then I was a little surprised by this I didn't buy a highlight but I think I remember them all looking very intense on the website and I'm just really not into a super intense stripe of shimmer on my cheek quite anymore um so I think that's why I didn't pick up a highlight um I also decided not to put any eyeshadow on the bottom of my lashes or like my lower lash line because I want to see how the concealer and stuff wears, but I am gonna go ahead and take this Hush shade, which is the lightest shade in the palette, and we're gonna use that as an inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna pop this on with my pinky. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, a little, little tiny bit dark maybe for a highlight. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, that is a pretty shade. This will be really pretty all over the lid as well. So there's that. Okay, I'm liking that. All right, let's try this powder blush. So this is one of their ombre blushes that I feel like are very, very popular. When you think of Moira Beauty, you probably think of these ombre blushes. So this is their signature ombre blush. I picked up the shade Mellow Pink. And this retailed for $9.50, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So that is what it looks like. Oh, that is so stinking pretty in the pan. I love that the embossing as well as the ombre like combine is just a really, really pretty blush. And what I like about this is that you could do more of like a light blush if you wanted. You could go more deep or just mix it all together, which is probably what I'll end up doing, it's a little more peachy than my eye look, but that's okay, it, uh, it'll be fine. <laughs> so we're gonna take my Flower Beauty a blush brush, and I think I'm just going to, I'm gonna mix all three, but I'm gonna stick more to the middle and the upper part, so it's a little bit lighter, so mainly up here. There is a little bit of kickback and powder in the pan, if you can see, and it did pick up quite a bit. I went ahead and tapped off my brush, and we're just going to lightly put this on top. Ooh, okay, I can see a little bit of a difference. It actually goes with the cream blush really well. So that was with the powder, that's with just the cream. I'm liking that, that's pretty. It's kind of hard to mess up like a powder blush, you know, so. Unless it got super chalky and patchy on the skin, which this one is not, you know, it's kind of like a powder blush is a powder blush, you know, but I'm very blush heavy. I understand that, but that is really pretty. Ooh, I like that. It is definitely matte. It took away whatever shine and dew that cream blush had given me. But I don't hate that. I don't hate that. That's beautiful. I'm, I'm excited about that. And then I did pick up a lip liner and a lipstick to try out. The lip liner is there. Lip Appeal Waterproof Lip Liner. I got it in the shade 05 Cupcake. Ooh, that looks pretty. And this retails for $4.20. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I'm going to wipe off the little bit of the lip oil that's remaining. And I mean the little bit. <laughs> it was like pretty much gone. Oh, this is a twist. Nice. I'm glad I discovered that because I would have definitely sharpened this and ruined it. I've done that before in the past. <laughs> so we're just going to line my lips. I guess we're overlining my lips a little bit today, but that's okay. Uh, that's a really pretty shade. That's almost like the exact same color as my lips. 
which I'm not mad at. That's really pretty. And then I also picked up their Signature Lipstick Balm Texture and Lip Shine. This is in the shade 06 Cherry Blossom. And it's just one of these. Oh, this reminds me of um, BK Beauty's lipsticks. So I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, that's pretty and shiny. Okay, let's try this out. It maybe is emphasizing the lines on my lips a tiny, tiny bit, but that is like super shiny and pretty and like feels comfortable on the lips. I really like that. And the shade, this combination, this cupcake and cherry blossom, this combination is beautiful. It's like my lips, but better, but like make them look thick and juicy and a little touch of pink. I'm loving this combination. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, love that. And last but not least, we have a setting spray to try. This is their Endless Setting powder refreshing radiant finish okay i'm confused on why it says setting powder but it's a setting spray so this is what the bottle looks like it says the moira endless setting powder is the one and only dewy finish setting spray you will need to keep your makeup in place this hydrating and cooling formula works without smudging fading or even setting into fine lines Makeup always looks freshly applied with serious staying power. Worry-free about your makeup day or night. Okay, the setting powder is tripping me up. I mean, I know it's a setting spray, but I don't know why they call it setting powder. I do have a little bit of like dots on my face. I don't mind that. I just go in with my sponge after setting spray on pretty much every setting spray I use. So it's not a big deal to me personally. It does have a little bit of a scent to it. It's a really light, it's not perfumey, just a really light, fresh scent. I don't mind it, but if you are sensitive to scents, definitely keep that in mind. It's supposed to give me like a dewy finish. It's supposed to be like hydrating, but I definitely see the dewiness. It's like now that it's like drying and setting in. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, this is gorgeous. All right, I, okay, <laughs> this is a little bit of a roller coaster. I definitely have some products that I am super into and some products that I'm never going to put on my face again, <laughs> mainly being the a foundation. I mean, if you made it to this point, you have heard my thoughts on everything, so I'm not going to go over everything, but the foundation, I will probably never try this again, you guys. I'm sorry. The um shade match actually now that everything's on though like it looks like a pretty good shade match on me like it looks good right like far away this makeup looks bomb like i feel like i would be confident enough to maybe go out in this like if mike and i did have plans today we don't but if we did i would be fine going out in this makeup it's just up close like it's just super drying because of that foundation so like i said i'll probably never try this again it was not a good shade match for me it just doesn't look good on my skin i'll probably instantly put this in my donate pile over there but everything else, I do want to try again. That bronzer actually is not looking super warm. I mean, it is a little bit over here. It looked a little cheeto over here. But I think once I have a better color match, it will look better. The lip combination, beautiful. I'm loving it. This eyeshadow, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I was super impressed by that. Like, there are a lot of things here that I am excited to keep trying. The ones that I would pass on, like I said, is the foundation. The concealer, um... I mean, it's not anything to write home about. It's just an okay concealer. Same thing with the setting powder. I'm just gonna have to keep trying them. And this lip oil, didn't love it. I would probably get another brand of lip oil. I actually just ordered the e.l.f. lip oil. <laughs> I'm like, I've been in like a, I wanna try all the makeup mood. Like I said, we went on a date night last night. And after I was done with my makeup on Ivy's nap, I had a little extra time to just kind of sit here before she, like I had to go get her. And I was just swatching and swatching so many lip products. I had like five lip products on my hand and then I wiped it off and then put five more on and then wiped it off. And I was just swatching everything that's like sitting here on my desk. And I came out and I was like, Mike, I just sat and swatched my lipsticks for like 10 minutes straight, 15 minutes straight. And he was like, okay. And I was like, I, I love, I still love makeup so much. I just have less time to do it and play with it and like enjoy it. You know what I mean? So I'm in a little bit of a, I love makeup, let me buy it all and try it all kind of mood right now. So anyways, because of that, I bought the e.l.f. lip oil and like a couple other things. And the Sephora sale is coming up, so I'm definitely going to be purchasing during that. Um, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> off on a tangent. Uh, then, like I said, this was a roller coaster. Some products I like, some products I don't like. Overall, I really do like this makeup. I think it's beautiful and I will keep you guys updated on these products. Let me know down below, please, if you have tried Moira, what your thoughts are on them. What are your like favorite products from them? Maybe things I didn't try here that I like need to try, you know? Let me know what you think of the final makeup look. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much, you're awesome and I love you. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.